The Duchess of Cambridge looked perfectly polished as she arrived at a South London Children's Centre this morning. Kate, 37, is visiting the Henry Fawcett Centre in Kennington, where she will learn more about the work being done to support children and their families. The Royal mixed High Street and High End for the outing, pairing a new £790 purple pussy bow blouse by Gucci with a favourite pair of £130 high waist trousers by Jigsaw. The look is something of a fashion risk for the royal, who typically favours mid-length dresses for public appearances. Today the Duchess gave a nod to one of the season's must-have colours in her lilac silk crepe blouse by Italian fashion house Gucci. The flattering shirt has a loose silhouette and features fabric-covered buttons that run down the back. She teamed the new wardrobe purchase with a pair of high-waist black trousers by Jigsaw that she previously wore on a visit to Cyprus in December last year. The royal wore her long brunette locks blown out and accessorized with a simple pair of drop earrings and an elegant a spinal of London handbag. The Duchess of Cambridge was all smiles as she headed into the Henry Fawcett Children's Centre, in Lambeth, South London, this morning to learn about the work done to support young kids and their families. The 37-year-old donned a £790 shirt by Gucci and £130 trousers by Jigsaw for the low-key visit. The trousers are the same that Kate wore for a visit to Cyprus last year, with the wide-legged style similar to that favoured by in-law Meghan Markle. Despite rumours of a rift between the royal women before Christmas, the pair seemed delighted to see each other at the Commonwealth Day service yesterday. The Fab Four, Prince William and Kate and Prince Harry and Meghan, chatted happily as they were reunited at Westminster Abbey on Monday. But Kate was today flying solo expected to join parents and toddlers at the Lambeth Early Action Partnership and Parent and Infant Relationship Service. The mum of three has prioritised visits to organisations that focus on England's youth this year, visiting a number of schools and child play centres in the past few weeks. Last month, she spoke with children at teachers at two London schools to mark Children's Mental Health Week. And at the start of the year, she shared jokes with young students at Islington Community Garden. But the Duchess was stumped when one cheeky student asked her if the Queen had ever eaten pizza. The 37-year-old royal has previously spoken out about the importance of supporting kids' mental health, encouraging them to be comfortable in their own skin. She even penned a personal essay about mental health issues with Huffington Post UK, writing, The mental health of our children must be seen as every bit as important as their physical health. For too long we have been embarrassed to admit when our children need emotional or psychiatric help, worried that the stigma associated with these problems would be detrimental to their futures. The mum has been a patron of Charity Place 2B since 2013 and has worked with husband Prince William and Prince Harry in their Heads Together campaign. Tonight, Kate will attend the Portrait Gala 2019 to meet members of the gallery's youth forum and view artwork produced by some of the National Portrait Gallery's outreach programs. It is the third gala she has attended and will raise money to support the gallery's work. It comes after a busy day for the royal family yesterday, with the senior members attending a Commonwealth Day service at Westminster Abbey. Meghan and Kate greeted each other with a warm kiss on each cheek as the Queen arrived. Speaking exclusively to Fabulous Online, body language expert Judy said, It was clear Kate and Meghan were keen to signal bonds of warm friendship yesterday rather than the either distant or over congruent displays from the last couple of outings. Please like, comment, and subscribe to channel. Thank you for watching my video.